Ladies and gentlemen, we are in part two of our series that we started last Sunday called Focus. Can you say that with me? Say focus. Focus. We're going to continue that today. We're going to go deeper today. Father, say it like only you can say. Move like only you can move. God, our enemy is like bowling pins, and I see the ball roll, the ball, the bowling ball rolling down the way, and it's about to knock every one of our enemies over because we're about yeah. to be focused. Yeah. Yeah. God, there's great mothers in here, and the greatness has not yet come out because they're not focused. Father, there's great husbands in here, but the greatness has not yet come out because they're not focused. God, great sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, but until we become focused, all that you put in us cannot come out. I thank you that you won't tickle ears today, God, but you're going to speak directly to the heart of our issue and very to the very heart of our lives. Yes, Lord. Convict us, change us, mold us, correct us, rebuke us if you have to, God, so that we can be focused today. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you would, before you take your seat, can you just go touch two or three people down on your row and say, focus, focus, focus. Not hocus, focus, 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 focus. would allow me just to recap just a, just a little bit folks uh, again this 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 series and this this teaching and this and where God's heart is on this is that for a lot of us we're doing so many things and so because we're doing so many things we're spread too thin we're spread too thin and even the most anointed person the most gifted person the most called person if you're if, if you keep slicing me Eventually, there will be nothing left in me. Yeah. And I don't right know what it's like to, to just be, to have maybe have the candles burned at both ends, and you're still trying to figure out how you're going to make it and how you're going to do it. It's like, it's just not enough time in the day. And you know what? That means something has to shift. That means that something has to change. And so, amen, we, we, we said that our imagination is the key to our change. Right. Now, this whole teaching here is about your mind and my mind. It's about your thought life and my thought life. It's about, amen, our ability to meditate and how we're not really using the strength, amen, of our thinking. We, 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 we utilize the strength of our spirit, but you know you can be spiritually strong but mentally weak? Yes, yes. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Because for everything, it's a spirit, it's an enemy, it's a devil. And, and, but, you, but we don't sit back sometimes and just think, and say, oh, wait, 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 that was my bad decision last week. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, yes, right. Yes. Amen. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe that was a relationship I should have never been in. I, I, can't, uh -huh. I can't always spiritualize. See, spiritualizing things is a poor excuse for not thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. things is a poor excuse for not thinking. Amen. We, we need to be spiritually charged. Amen. We need to be spiritually learned. But we also, amen, need to be able to think our way out of a situation at times. Some situations, it doesn't need your tongues. It doesn't need your fasting. Some situations, it doesn't mean you binding and loosening. Some sure. situations means you sitting down. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And saying, hmm. Mm -hmm. Think about this one. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You know that some of my greatest revelations came after I started thinking, then I started praying. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 
I actually just sat down and I thought about what is opposed to me. I thought about what's going on in my family, what's going on with my finances. I sat there and I thought about it. And then when I began to think about it, and now that the Lord began to show me things, now the revelation has substance that it can sit on because I'm not saying, I'm not saying the revelation sit on my stupidity or revelation sit on my foolishness or re revelation sit on my laziness. And there are, there are a lot of folks that don't want to think, but they want to cast out. God will grow us in our thinking. The key to your change in mind is our imagination. The key to your change in mind is our imagination. The Bible says that I will do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask or think. Remember that? Yes. All that I can ask, but also, Jamie, I want to do some things greater than what you're thinking, but I need you to start thinking so I can start doing. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Yeah. Good word. Start thinking about your life. Really, really think about your life. Start thinking about your decisions. Really, really think about your decisions. Everybody can't have all of you. Right. All right. All right now. You can't give yourself to everything. That's right. Amen. Amen. I should have, we, I should have looked at this with the married couples a couple Sundays ago, and it was like, you know, I use the nuts for our house for an example. You know, we have four daughters, and all of them are in so many different things band, choir, and, and soccer, and, and, and um, Basketball and track, and, and then they in NJSS, and then they in FBLA, and then they got so many acronyms, I don't even know what, you know. And, and, and it's like every day or every other day or something, every other day or something. And I remember one year, my wife and I sat down and we said, okay, check this out. Y'all ain't doing six or seven things this year. Uh -huh. First of all, guess what? It ain't but two of us. It, it ain't but two of us. We want to support, we need to support, you want us to support, guess what? We need y'all to pick two of them. Amen. Not only that, it costs like $80 for every one of these things. Yeah. 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 So, right. We're going to get an upgrade in our finances just by y'all not participating in this. But watch this, we said let's focus on two or three things. And we sat down and we had a family meeting and we said, okay, what's going to be your two or three? What's going to be your two or three? What's gonna, now let's sit down and let's negotiate. Can some of y'all two or three be the same? Amen. 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 Let's, let's really try to focus here because see, and oftentimes, and I bring this up only because as parents, sometimes even with our kids, we will let our kids do everything and be a part of everything and then they begin to suffer. Right. Yes, Lord. But then your, your, your justification is, well, at least I allowed them to do this or I gave them the opportunity to do this. Well, no, isn't also parenting helping them decide and prioritize and organize? Yes, yes sir. Right. Jasmine, our little daughter, her number one sport is track. She plays with yes, the yes. number one sport is track. And it shocked her mom and I when she came to us last year at the basketball season and she said, I, I, don't, I don't think I can do track this year. And we was like, Jasmine, listen to me, sweetie. First of all, well, yeah, we want you to play, but sweetie, you need to say something. The whole school is depending on you to run track. Sweetie, this ain't like you just, look, they ain't gonna win nothing. I mean, praise God. They, but they, sweetie, you got to run. And she said, I'm not gonna have time to get my own gun, and, and, and I'm, I'm, you know, she was, she's like, I want to finish strong as an eighth grader going into my freshman year, and then finally, my wife and I look at her and say, okay, Amen. Amen. you're focused. She gets she was able to graduate with a 3.9 or right at a 4.0. Oh, yeah. she had a 4.0, so she graduated with a 4.0 because she got focused. She got focused. Now it costs something to be focused. Yeah. You are not gonna be focused and not not do something that you enjoy. Yeah. All right. That's true. All right now, yeah. we that. Sometimes you have to put aside something that you enjoy to do something that just has got to be done. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 Yes, yes So say my imagination, my imagination is the key to my change. A lot of folks don't get delivered because they can't see themselves outside of the situation. Wow. Amen. Amen. 
My, my imagination, I, I, all I can see yes, is sir. always arguing with you. Yes, all sir. I can see yes, is sir. always not having enough. Yes, all I can see is always working in a job like this. And, but until your imagination begins to be illuminated, until your illuminate, your imagination becomes illuminated, until your mind and it becomes illuminated. Watch this. You you can get delivered still behind bars. Yeah. Yes, I wonder when Paul and Silas or whoever it was that begin to just pray when they were in prison, praise God. And as I said, to the prison doors were shaken, and amen, and, and the angels came and the doors just opened and they only were blah, 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 blah. I wonder why they, the Bible says at midnight they were praising and they were worshiping God. Can I tell you what true praise and true worship is? True praise and true worship is not just the lifting of my hands, not just the escalation of my voice, but it's when I see myself outside of whatever the enemy is trying to keep me in. So my hands are lifted not because I'm physically out, but because I see myself outside of whatever it is. I see myself getting a better job. I mean, 
mean, you can walk, I mean, I know I got a couple of you in here that are, that are you've been trained and licensed in interior decorating, and, and you'll walk into a house, and somebody else will walk in the house, oh, no, I just can't deal with this. But you get a real good interior decorator. Say it. Say it. this, oh, no, we're going to change this carpet. We're going to put this up here. We're going to paint that right there. We're going to drop some second wheels right here. We're going to put some church doors over there, and you will think you're in a brand new house. Why? Because I got an imagination, and I see the house before there is a house. I see the blessing. Wow. And think about one thing. Wow. True. Wow. Wow. 
Now the enemy's chief purpose is to break your focus and break your intentionality. Intentional, right? The enemy, his chief focus is to break your focus. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Every time I try to pray, the phone will be ringing. So turn it off. Leave another room. That's what you do. That's what you do. Right. Yes, sir. Turn it off. Right. Well, watch this now. What are you afraid to remove so you can be focused? Yes, sir. Wow. Right. Right. And sometimes wow. it is a person. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 That's true. Yeah. Most of the time. That's true. People, let me help you a little more. Sometimes it's a good person. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Help us. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Mm. My mind. Awesome. Come on, Holy Ghost. Mm. Yes. You have these great athletes. Was a basketball player at the free throw line, end of the game, score tied. And you know, 17,000 people in the arena, or whether it's 80,000 people in the football field, down by two, and the punter has to kick a 45 yard field goal. In that moment, in that moment right there, all of their preparation, all of their practice, all of their training is going to come down to that one moment right there. Amen. How focused can you and I be? In the face of adversity, in the face, ladies and gentlemen, oh my. of the enemy, in the face. I mean, at that one moment, I mean, I, 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 I admire folks that under great pressure, they can stay true to themselves. Yeah. That under great pressure, amen, that they don't compromise mm -hmm. what they've been learned and what they've been taught. That, that, they, that under pressure, it, it is significant. Now, I just think about and then those athletes, and, like, and I just, I just sit and wonder, but God, shouldn't we as the believers, amen, shouldn't this be our forte? Shouldn't we, be, we were born for moments like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Amen. Oh, yeah, I hear you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Y'all know I love you. Yeah. And some of you, you've had some great moments, and you keep choking. Mm -hmm. right. Yes, Lord. 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 You get right to the place to where the door is about to open. I mean, I mean, it is, it is, it is about to unfold, and you do something foolish. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. When you are focused and you on the beaten path that God has called you to be on. Not a job change, not another relationship. That's the truth, Jesus. The weight of your focus is predicated upon the easeability of your no. Uh -huh. So I'm doing what I need to be doing, I'm focused, I'm, I'm lasered in, but then good things start happening yeah. and it distracts me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. The yeah. That's good. You know how many people have lost their salvation mm. running behind another person? Yeah. Come on. My mind. <laughs> That's right. If somebody wanna run with you, they gotta run with your focus. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If they can't run with your focus, yeah. they can't run with you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. But you and I have got to have a focus. Yes. 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 That's right. Amen. What is your focus right now? That's good. What is your focus right now? If I was to say, you know, that's work for the next five minutes. Pull out your pen and pad or your one note or your whatever it is that you got. <laughs> Amen. And just and just write down, what are your what are your three focuses right now? Do you know that if I was to ask that same question to you last week and ask that same question to you next week, most of you will have at least two out of the three will be different. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. What's your main focus right now? And when you define what that is, 
You can let nothing. Nothing. Distract you from it. And if it's good, well, let's see how good you'll be in a couple of years. Amen. 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 You know why it's real quiet right there? Amen. Because we think if we wait, we're going to miss out. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. If I wait, then I'm gonna miss out. Yeah. 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 Did God prepare it for you? Yeah. Jesus said, Behold, I go to a place to prepare for you that where I am there you may be also. Why says nobody can't can't take or steal what God has for you? But you can lose it if you get it too soon. The scripture says, let, let patience have her perfect work. Uh -huh. perfect. What it say? Let patience complete some things. In yeah. Mm -hmm. I know you want it by tomorrow. Yeah. Uh -huh. But if you don't get it by tomorrow, are you still going to be okay? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. I think you will. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Because you're okay today and you wanted it today yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 If you wait, you're not going to miss out. Yeah. The Bible even tells us to wait on our ministry. Yeah. Uh -huh. Whatever your gifting, your calling, your enablement, amen, your purpose, amen, that I, I have to wait for it. Yeah. Wait for whether it's the opportunity, amen, whether it's the perfect situation, but I got to wait for it. And this is significant because a lot of times we just don't sit down long enough. That's right. Come, sit here and I'm going to wait. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting. Well, God, I'm trying to keep the door down. What if I wait till my right season and get the door right. just open? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. It's hard. I do it. Very hard. T.D. Jakes made a statement here years and years ago. And when he said it, it challenged me and it, and it really changed my life when I really thought about it. Here's what he said. He said, he said, y'all crazy. Y'all impressed with all these great preachers and great teachers and orators and lecturers and all of that. He said, let's be honest for a moment. Whatever revelation or information they got, you can either study and get it or pray and get it. That's true. Oh, he said, so what makes them wonderful is not their preaching ability or their teaching ability or what they wow. say. He said, what makes, he said, what makes me marvel? is how they think about a particular matter. Yeah. Right. How they right. think about a particular yeah. text. Right. This is why when I read the Bible, I don't read the Bible and try to see, let me see how what my wife might think about it. Let me see what Pastor Coots might think about it. Let me see what Elder So-and-so might think about it. Be because that, that's not me. That's right. That's right. How, how do, Jamie, what is the Spirit saying to you? This is why there's four, there's really more than four Gospels, but only four that actually recorded the way that we understand. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. But hold on. They all saw the same events. Yeah. Why can't we have just one gospel? Right. That's good. In the sense of Mark, Matthew, Mark, why, why we gotta, why, why, why Luke gotta write about it if Matthew wrote about it? Yeah. Why Matthew gotta write about it if Mark wrote about it? Uh -huh. yeah. Because it's how they think about what. I, I, let me tell you, when I saw Jesus walk on the water, let me tell you what I saw, Mark. I know what you say, but it was like a spirit that I saw walking. Got a good story because everybody want to jump in and say what they saw. Everybody's a witness, then. But I wonder if we would like that when it comes to the house of God. Yeah. If the service was over today and all of you sitting in here are giving your own gospel and your own perspective about how the service went and what you got from the word, how the Lord moved, this, that, and all. What makes you you is how you think about it. That's yeah. right. Yes, Lord. And sometimes it's not a matter of right or wrong. That's just your perspective. Right. It's different. That's right. Yes, Lord. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Matthew ain't greater than Mark. Yeah. Luke ain't greater than John. Right. Right. But they all thought about how they walked with Jesus differently. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. How you think about a particular man. Mm -hmm. As a man thinketh, his 
heart solicit? How do you think about it? Because of how you think about it, you get delivered. But if you think about it like how they think about it, you might stay bound. Wow. Wow. Why even argue and debate with you no more? Well, I don't believe there's no such thing as divine healing no more. Believe what you want. Sure. Right? I know that's right. 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 That's right. Amen. 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 You don't believe it? Amen. Right. Well, don't you want to argue with me? Why? Wow. <laughs> yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. Psalm 27 and 4, David said, What is one thing I have desired from the Lord, that one thing will I seek after, that I may what? Dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I said again, David said, There's one thing that I that I desire, there's one thing that I seek after, that I may dwell, after, dwell in the house of the Lord forever. David was focused in, and, and, and God's word to us is, we need to be focused on our relationship with him. Amen. Amen. And you and I both know people mm -hmm. this year that have fallen away or are or are falling away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh? Let me tell you something. And if you've never been there, you're probably a liar. But you know what? You know what? We will use and say, well, it's because of this, and it's because of that, and it's because of what he did, and it's because of what she did, and it's because uh -huh. of the job, and it's because of my health, and it's because of this, and it's because of that. But I'm going to tell you something. If your chief focus has always been and always stays your relationship with God, Watch this. Watch what I'm going to say to you. You don't know what it would be like to be called a backslider. Yeah. 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 Wow. A backslider is the only, the only thing a backslider is a person who's just not focused. Yeah. And they're not focused on the things of God. Right. Right. How could I have slipped away? Easy. Easy. As soon as the lay aside the way and seen the scene, the duff so easily for Yes. Because all it takes is just a little bit, mm -hmm. and then a little bit, yeah. and then a little bit, yeah. and then a little bit. Right. And in three months, you don't know me no more. Yeah. Right. Right. That's right. Amen. That's right. How many of y'all happy you came to church? Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Your focus and my focus must always be our walk with the Lord. Yes. As As tragic as it would be if, if I was to leave the earth sometime soon, I could just only hope and pray that my wife and my daughters, while I may have given them an example, that their faith in God mm -hmm. and their walk with him would not be hindered because of my absence. Right. Uh -huh. yes. Amen. 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 Let's talk about it for a second. Yes. The scripture says, what shall separate us from the love of God? Yes. Yes. No. Height, death, things come, things pass, right. things on the earth, things above the earth, right. more than religion. Uh -huh. Essentially, right. it's nothing. No. Right. Hold on. But I lost my father. But I lost my mother. Uh -huh. But I got divorced. But I had uh -huh. seven miscarriages. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I had a repossession. Yeah. But I had three foreclosures. Yeah. All right. That's Lord, all of that. Come on now. Yeah. What yeah. shall separate us yeah. from the law Nothing. of Christ? Yes. Yes. Pain unbearable, but it should separate us. That's right. Yes. Yes. That's right. Trials unimaginable, but it should separate us. Should. The thing that I don't, I don't know a better way of saying it that actually frightens me. When I think about my children that are coming up in the generation after me is, there's no stamina. Right. I've been asked on several occasions, both publicly and in large occasions, and even in one-on-one -on -one settings, and I've shared with you before, the number one thing I wish that I could give, that, that I believe it's, that, that God would have me to give to this generation and to anyone that would really, really get in my inner circle, is a fighting spirit. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And when you think back at our grandmothers and our great grandmothers, it didn't matter what happened. 
Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Their walk with God was yeah. unshakable. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yes. Yes. To the point that we yes. marvel. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Oh, boy, y'all better leave me alone. Okay. Yes. 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 Right. That is the truth. That is true. And when I think about my generation, and I think about those that are coming after me, yeah. there's no stamina. None. None. We quit like it's a game. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We walk away and give up on God, on our family, yeah. on jobs, yeah. on careers, yes, just sir. because it didn't feel right. Yeah. Your walk with God must be your chief focus forever. Yeah, yeah. that's right. It must yeah. always be your number one focus. Don't put your career in front of it. Yeah. Don't put your marriage in yeah. front of it. Don't yeah. put your children in front of it. Yeah. Don't put your children in front of it. Your walk with God is your supreme focus. Yeah, amen. Oh, I hear you. I hear the enemy right now. I hear the enemy right now. And he's actually laughing at your quitting. He's creating situations. He is creating certain turmoil and certain trials to keep setting you back. Yes, Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When, when, what day of prayers today that you would say, come hell, come on now. How would they win me or whether they against me? Whether they like me or whether they don't. Whether I got all the money in the world or whether I don't have anything. Whether I'm catching the bus or whether I'm rolling around in the caddy. It really doesn't matter. God, for you I live and for you I die. I will worship you on my best days and I will worship you on my worst days. God, I am sold out. Oh, but 
to Sunday. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. Relegated to Wednesday. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Brother George, I got to be sold out Thursday. Come here for a minute, George. Come here, come here Jamal. Intercess, some of the intercessors do about this, but the rest of us in the young face of the church. The church, the church. Amen. Praise God. Last month, when uh, we had worship over two sons, and uh, Halloween, and I, the Lord began to speak to me maybe about a week before worship over two sons, and He began to give me a strategy. And He said, My son, listen. Even the people that are involved, don't tell them until about four or five hours before. Now, most of us don't do nothing. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come on. If I feel like you should have told me earlier. Yeah. Help us, Lord. And you knew earlier, and you purposely chose to just tell me now. See, let me tell you something. That ain't walking with God. Yeah. 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 That is not walking with God. Watch this. I didn't even tell my wife until it was going to happen at midnight or 1130 or so. I told my wife about 630 or so that afternoon. And I said, sweetie, I need you to give me permission to do something. I said, it's Halloween night, whatever. I said, um, I'm going to take an armor bearer and I'm going to take an intercessor. And we're going down to Reed Park. Hey, Amen. God gave me a strategy. And I hit up Brother George in text and I said, sir. As a matter of fact, was your wife out of town? Yes, sir. So his, was, so his wife was out of town. He had the kids. He had everything that was going on. And I said, sir, if you can't do it, I need somebody from the security team. And he said, sir, I got it. I'm, I'm, we're going to make this happen. So I, don't I said, listen to me. I said, I need the, the security to be at the park by 1140. Yes, sir. 1140. It's 2340 for you military folks. Yes, sir. Amen. 1140 p.m. I said, me and the armor bearer is going to show up at about 2350. Uh huh. Yes, sir. You're gonna make sure the area is secure before we get there. Uh huh. But when we get there, we're gonna go for broke. Yeah. We stayed at Reed Park for an hour from 11 for for me and Jamal. We was there from 23:50, Amen, to 050 hours. Amen. We were it was 1:50 a.m. and all we was doing was just praying, decreeing, speaking, Amen. prophesying. Wow. So after that, I said, Hey, gentlemen. We're going over to Himmel Park now because that's where they're going to do the Harvest Fest. Right. Amen. I said, let's go over there and take authority. I said, George, you leave first. We'll be about 15 minutes behind you. You go and make sure everything's secure. Mm -hmm. George draws over to Himmel Park. Jamal and I get there. We break the park into sections. So each person got a different section. We stay there for another hour. Mm -hmm. Praying, yeah. speaking, oh, decreeing, God. declaring. Yes, Don't call yourself something and not acting like it. God won't believe I'm not an apostle inside this building. I'm not a prophet because I'm still in here right now. If your gift only works in here, you don't have a gift. Oh, but it's not until you can walk outside and say, every devil, every witch, every warlock, our ministry has some much work in there right now. But you don't like it. So that's why you can sleep well. Because I'm not. Tonight. But you know what? 
by the grace of God, I am that I am. I can't let Jamie stand up when God is trying to stand up. I can't let me jump up. And see, this is all God is waiting on somebody to be focused in on their relationship with him. Miss a job for y'all go home today. Oh, yeah. get permission, permission. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, I'm finna say it. You think you something. Uh -huh. yeah. yes, Lord. You think you something. Yes, Lord. You think you something. Yes, sir. You ain't nothing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so it's like, and when a 
because I'm doing all that I can to do. I don't know. I'm just trying to do that I can. You yeah. just don't know. I mean, my husband loves me and the kids. And, I, and you just look at him and say, but how do you expect right. to move God uh-huh. when your actions, my God, yes. are relegated to complaining? Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Maybe just from my perspective. But, but, uh, come here, no, come, 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 come. I can't do it. I can't. Just, just kind of beat me for a second and kind of push right there. And it's almost like, and it's almost like I sit sometimes and I say me, but I think that God does the same thing. And he's looking at us saying, you don't really want no help. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God says, I help you do what you can't do. But as long as you just go through the motion, you don't need me to come down there and do anything. When you start acting like you really want to move something, come on, don't mind you to really act like you're trying to do something. See, how it, 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 it's the Bible says you just say to the mountain, be thou removed, even the biggest, strongest. what you want from God. Or the lack thereof. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And see how you're fed up. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Help my disbelief. Help my disbelief. That's right. Your focus matters more than you realize. Yeah. Yeah. And by the end of the series, I'm going to lay out several focuses, but before I can lay out any of the rest of them, our foundation. Jesus. What do you do every day to build your relationship with God? Yes. Yes. I'm asking this question to everybody on the sound of my voice right now. What do you do every day? What do you do every day to build your relationship with God? It's hard to get off focus if I'm doing something every day that keeps me on focus. Now watch, I know where your mind is thinking. You know, you got work, you got job, you got class, you got extracurricular activity, you got homework, you got school, you got parents. I know you got all these things going on. I know it, I know it, I know it, I know it. But watch this. If you really want to be good in those areas, what I'm telling you right now is not an option. Yes, I know. Hallelujah. Yes, that's real, sir. It costs. Yes, Lord. Oh, glory. Jesus. How about somebody? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to tell you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My Lord. This morning, we're at 317. I, I, I know the pattern now. And so I know when my wake up means stay up. <laughs> Amen. And, and when my wake up means okay, uh-huh. I'm going to go back to sleep. Uh-huh. Right, right. And this morning was a wake up to stay up. Mm-hmm. And got up and walking through the house, praying, speaking, decreeing, declaring. I said, now working on my word. and start sending people messages and encouraging folks and this, that, and blah, 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 blah. Days ago, I mean, to bed, I just kind of I just felt the urge. I don't know what it not saying, but I just felt the urge, and I got up. I took Proverbs 31, and I went. I started with verse 10, and I read 10 down to 31, and I went into every one of my daughter's room. Went in there, I pulled back the covers, and I spoke over every one of them. Laid hands, fluffed their pillows, hallelujah. And then put the cover back up, and then around the neck. And went out, went to each and every one of them. Why am I telling you that? No glory. I'm not a perfect father. I've learned some things though. What's this now? Because how am I going to tell any other father in this church? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. About being focused. Yeah. How am I going to tell any other father in this church about what it means to really be the covering in your house? Yeah. My words mean nothing right. if I'm not doing it. Yeah. Yeah. But when I can 
can look at any one of you in the face and say, do this, or you should do this, or you need to do that. Watch this now. The choice is yours. Right. Watch this now. The problem is not the problem. Uh-huh. All right, Tweet that. Tweet that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. The product works. Yeah. Yeah, dude. The product works. God's plan, it works. Yes. He just got to have somebody that will follow it. Yes. 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 My mind. Yes. My focus is my relationship with God, and out of that comes soft focuses right. uh -huh. to my wife, to my children, to my church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There is no season where you get to just tell God, you know what, God, I'm sorry, I just... You know, I, I put you on the back burner. I push you to the side. Uh -huh. my relationship. It, is, it will never be acceptable. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Never. That's right. There's not that's one good. thing you and I can utter before God that's or make him say, Jamie, thank you for letting me know that. <laughs> 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 yes, sir. It's not one. <laughs> you know what's really, what's really great about this? Maybe you're going to get me out. Is you control your focus. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody else controls it. Nobody. But sir, I work 12 hours a day. Watch this. You got your phone, you got a New Testament, you got Google, you got anything. You can write three by five cards, you put scriptures in your pocket. Listen, don't you and I have no excuse. No excuse. That's true. Some of my best study time was sometimes when the day has been just absolutely yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. And I'm sitting in the bed and my feet hurting and, 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 and I just happen to just roll over a little bit. And even though my Bible is right there, well, I just put them to the phone and I just put the Bible on, you know, when the Bible just reads to you. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, in about five minutes, I'm up like, oh boy, that's it. I preach right there. Boy, that's how I'm doing right there. Because the Word has a way of doing yeah. something. Yeah. And then even when you're tired, you're sleepiness, yeah. the Word yeah. just gives yeah. you a juice. Yeah. Because our focus has to be yeah. when I walk with God. Right. Amen. Sir, I'm trying to change my family. You won't do it if your focus is not on God. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That's right. Because people will see what you stand for, and you ain't even said nothing. Yeah. But they see what you stand for. Amen. How you carry yourself. Yep. Yes. Come on, let me ask everybody to stand. Philippians 4 and 8 says, What's over things are lovely, right? What's over things are just? What's over things are beautiful? What's over things are of a good report? Another one says, What's over things are noble? Another one says, What's over things are honorable? Watch this. Meditate on those things. Yeah. Hey, can you, hey, Amy, whoever's back there, can you shift it to something else if you would, please? Stay instrumental, but just something different. Just look at me. Don't talk about the devil all the time. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Don't talk about what's wrong all the time. Amen. 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 Don't. I know there's some things wrong, there's some things broken, some things even big, but you can't talk about it all the time because watch this now. That is your focus. Yeah. 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 I love, I forgot who said it, uh, uh, I think it was Andrew Warman. He said, you know what? What you think about and what you talk about, it happens. Right. Yeah, it does. Yes, it does. Yeah, yeah. Nobody likes me. Well, I can't ever do nothing right. And you're, you're thinking on it, you're hold on, is that lovely, is that just, is that of a good report, is that noble, is that honorable? What you're thinking about. Yeah. And it's dominating your thinking. So now your imagination can't be illuminated because of the darkness of your thoughts. See good in everybody, yeah. 
just know that there's some bad in there somewhere. You just haven't seen it yet, but uh-huh. That's right. Uh-huh. That's right. Amen. 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 Don't focus on the bad. Right. If you focus on the bad, you won't love nobody. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's true. Amen. You won't love nobody. That. You won't save nobody. Because all you do is just focus on the bad. Right. Man, you want to be different? Focus on the light, man. Yes. Focus on the good that you know that is there. Yes. Talk to the good, to the bad, get lonely and leave. Watch this. Watch this. And some of you struggle with that. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Amen. Because you, you can't talk to you to the good that is in you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, y'all. I don't know yeah. I gotta leave, but really. this will be all, all everybody can talk. So listen. Listen. <laughs> People can't love you if you don't love yourself. Yeah. Yeah. They can want to love you yeah. and can't. Yeah. Because you gotta first appreciate something yeah. about you. Yeah. You have to appreciate something yeah. about you. Yeah. What some of the things are lovely? What some of the things are just good report, noble, honorable. Meditate on these things. Focus. Jesus said, no man putting his hand to the plow and then looking back as fear. Mm. Focus on me and don't let nothing distract you from focusing on me. Those of you here that may be visiting or somewhat new, I would like to think that one of, one of the Watch this, watch this. We've had a lot of good people leave, but a whole lot of great people still here. that begins to make you feel bad about how you live. Yeah. That's actually yeah. a good thing. Yeah. That's actually a good thing. Yeah. That's, yeah. Good thing. Yeah. That's yeah. actually a good thing. Yeah. Because if I can just run and be with you and then take no consideration of how I've been living, yeah. uh -huh. either you ain't worth nothing. Right. 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 So you're not worth me raising my standard to. Right. 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 Or I just have no conviction. Yeah, right. It is hard to come into an environment like this and not have conviction. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's the truth. Amen. I know this myself, and I'm the pastor. Let me say I walk in here sometimes at 11 o'clock at night, and I come in here, and it's like I come through that office right there, and my wife was here because I never turn the lights on. No, I, I, everything is off. Uh -huh. I've been trained in the military to do everything in the dark. So I, yes, I, I, I come through here, and I know exactly how many steps it is from there, amen, to here, down here, and I know exactly how many steps it is on the through. And I come through here, and sometimes I'm walking through, and before I can even get through the building, I'll be down on my knees crying and repenting. There's no service, nothing going on. I pray that a thousand times over you be focused. And if things are falling apart in your life, but none of them is your walk with God, you okay? Amen. Amen. You okay? Amen. Because you've got the ingredients for everything else to start turning around. That's right. Yeah. Hallelujah. But if you're here today and everything else is going right, but you say your walk with God is not all of that, I'm talking to you at this moment. Yeah. Amen. Man, if you said, you know what, preacher, thank you. 
my focus has not been my relationship with God. Watch this, guys. Move quickly and come up here where I am right now.